Hello and welcome back to FemDesign video lessons. In this video, you will learn how to use Quick Tools function in FemDesign software. You can find Quick Tools from Window, Other Windows, and here you can see Quick Tools. I'm going to place the Quick Tools function in the right side of my screen, and for the most of the videos, it will be there. Let's start by going to the first tab of the quick tools called layers. In here you can find drawing layers, object layers and load case layers. Most of the time when you are in the structure tab in FemDesign software you will need object layers to guide you or to help you in your modeling work. What you can do here is using this filter field you can search layers by the name like this I type wall and I can see all the layers that have wall in their name what you can also do is using uh, the first row of these layers to arrange uh, these layers in the way you want them like for the status there is hidden protected and active if I press press here once, let's do it again, I press here once, I can see that the, the layers are not uh, arranged by them status, but if I press it once, I can see that now the hidden layers are at first, and after that there is going to be active layers at the bottom. Most of the time I use this like this, so that the active layers are as in the first in these rows. In here I can change this uh, status by clicking at them. So now you can see that my status for the walls is hidden. If I click it once again I can see now they are protected so they are shown but I cannot make any modification for them. And if I click it once more I can see that now they are active so they are seen in the view and also I can make modification for the walls. You can also change if you, if you want or if you don't want to snap to those layers by clicking the snap part here. You can also change the color of these layers and you can change the pen size for these layers. And here you can see that you can actually use positive values to make the pen size uh, change in millimeters or negative values to make the pen size change in pixels. These, uh, uh, all these uh, settings that I set up will work for all the layer types from drawings to objects to load case layers. Let's move to Quick Tools display settings. Here you have two options. You have macro, macro option and detailed settings. In the macro scale, you can uh, make changes or you can show labels in the whole uh, model. Meaning, if I want to see structural element ID for every object in my model, I can simply press here. Same for materials or analytical element IDs and for all the, all, the, all the settings you can see here. But however, if I go to detailed settings, you can see that now, for example, for the bars, I have label, just the way I had for the macro, in the macro part. But now, if I press here, I can see that the label is shown only in the bar elements in the FemDesign. And here you will also have graphical options for your objects. And multiple, for some, you will have more, more op options to change in your view. Uh, third part is results. For the results, we need to move to analysis or one of the uh, design modules that we have in FemDesign. Uh, in the quick tools, you can quickly see or check different results in your FemDesign. I'm just going to hide 
my current result here and I'm gonna go to load cases and I just want to quickly see transnational displacements and select one of these four load cases and display and it's seen we will go more into this when uh, in when we go further in our lessons but for now uh, we are just going to show the quick tools function last part of the quick tools you can see this filter tool here which is uh, very good when the model and your structure is getting bigger and for example here I can select quickly select uh, objects based on for example for the story axis or structural element analytical element or just identifier and plenty of more selection properties here uh, for this example I'm gonna select uh, axis and I'm gonna select one and now I can see that the uh, and the parts that are in the axis one are highlighted so when I press ok I see that the modifying tools appear so now let's say I want to move that those parts now all the objects from the axis one are moved so basically you can use filter filter tool to uh, select uh, uh, objects by identifying them according to multiple different properties okay but this is all for this video and see you in the next video